Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I understand that this is the situation, it's fine, we're going to sort it out in a second. I am here to review this from Daphne. So this is the Daphne Allure Cord Free Revolution Cordless Hair Straightening Brush. That's a lot of words, I'm not gonna lie. I've tried some of the paddle brushes before in the past and wasn't that impressed, but I've given this a few goes and it is just so fantastic. I know about this, like I washed my hair and then I air dried it and then I threw it up in a bun just so that it'd be extra like curly bops. Now I was given this recently by Peter Mark, that's where you can get it, um, but I'm under no obligation to review this. But I just wanted it anyway, because I thought that this were really good for travel, for weekends away, for in your desk at work. I'll explain later. So in the box, you get the little pouch that it goes in. And it's like that scuba material. And then you have the star of the show itself. And you also get the plug and then the USB cable as well, because fadong, it's cordless. That pleases me greatly, you've no idea. Because me and cords, they don't always see eye to eye. So this is what you get. This is the Daphne Allure. And it has like a little protector that goes over the heated element part of it as well. So on the side here, you have the little cover where you can plug it in and you charge it. And when you plug it in, you'll see that there are four little dots here um, and four little lights. And so I don't remember how long it took me to charge. I'd say a couple hours anyway. And the manual says that you can straighten kind of three heads of hair on one charge, which I think is really good as well. So yeah, you plug it in the side, make sure that it's off, let it do its business and charge. Then at the bottom here, there's an on off button. So I'm gonna turn it on. And then look, that scared me. That's very close to my head. So you can see that I already straightened my hair once recently since charging it. So that's why there's only three um, little dots on it. I'm just gonna let that warm up. And while it's doing that, I'm just gonna have the little chats. So you can see that there are black parts here that go slightly over the heated element. So it means that if you are putting it onto your head, you're not gonna actually touch the heated part off your scalp and burn yourself, because you don't want to do that. And just, it's really, it feels really nice and that's like, it feels really sturdy. I don't know why that's important to me. Now it's worth noting that it takes a couple of minutes to heat up, but sure, listen, you've got time. I'm just gonna part my hair in my usual parting on this side. It's ready. Okay, beeped twice. She's ready to go. So you can see that the light has gone from flashing orange to white and we're ready for action. Okay, wish me luck. Because I'm only saying that because I have had bad luck when it comes to me and doing hair tutorials on the internet. What I like to do is grab a little section of hair, about an inch's worth, and then just brush it really, really slowly. Now it gives a whopper heat. Like, look at that. Do love an L swishy straight hair moment in the summer. So I like to hold the end part just to have tension. It'll help with straighten the hair as well. That's incredible and that's just like one pass. I love the fact that it goes down that's not just straight as well. And what I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see that as it comes to the end of the piece of hair, I'm bringing it down a little bit just to give that little bit of a chunk. Also, make sure to put a heat protection spray in, which I totally forgot to do. Just, yeah, learn from my mistakes. And you can see that it doesn't tug my hair at all. So when I washed my hair this morning, I just put shampoo, I didn't put conditioner in. Um, and then I just let it air dry, stuck it up in a bun. I'm just going to go over the front part just one more time just to give it that little bit of a kink at the end. Now you can take bigger sections as well if you want but I think it works more effectively on just slightly smaller sections because that top part, the top little section of hair won't hit the heating part of it. Now one of the first times that I used this I forgot that it was a heated brush and I kind of went like that and I burnt my hand. Well I was like putting it through my hair went like that and then burnt my hand. So don't do that either. This is very enjoyable. Yeah it's just really easy to use as well. And what I like to do as well is when I finished one little section, I just, this is where I brought my hand for. Just go like that. Just to give it like the really sleek edges. So it's all kind of going the one way. Okay, time for the other side. If I was to compare this to the straighteners, the only thing that I would say is that I can't get quite as close as I would like to when it comes to my scalp, but I can get pretty dang close. <laughs> See, 
think I think something like this would be really handy for your desk at work because at work at the moment the girls and I we have what we call the self-care drawer and inside that self-care drawer is nail varnish remover and cotton pads and dry shampoo normal um or what's that stuff called deodorant um, and we have a straightener as well but I think this would be really really handy as well look how swishy I am and there we have it my hair is done and straight I'm gonna switch her off now I'm swishy I'm straight I am the fish and of a summer goddess and I know that if I went outside into that rain I would just go curly but it'd be okay because I'd have that. Now if you're going away make sure to bring your USB charger as well because they recommend to use their the official one that comes with that like not just any regular USB thing which I suppose is fair enough. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I think it is so good. It's so handy. It's compact. If you're going down the country or something like that it's just ideal for a little weekend away if you're going to be straightening your hair a couple of times. If you're going to be straightening it more then definitely bring your charger as well just in case because otherwise you'd be raging but the fact that it is dinky just makes me really happy. It's very like ergonomically designed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this or not because in the past I have tried other variations of those panel or paddle brushes that have like the heated element in there. I was like, listen, I'll give it a go, see how I get on. Um, and the other paddle brushes that I've tried, now they were, they had like a cord and everything. They just, I felt like I had to pass it through my hair loads more times than I do with this and as I said there is just shampoo in that I haven't put any um, I know I should have put the hair thing on but I had started the video and I forgot so if you are going to use something like that anything with heat on your hair make sure to use the hair protectant because otherwise you'll be scaldy. I'll leave a link below as to where you can buy it and how much it is I just don't want to say it on camera and then it have changed by the time I go to post this video and um, so leave all the details in the description box below but I think this is the deadly little thing for summer. I love it. Like I don't think you understand there are days where I will have like lovely swishy hair and then I will walk to the train and then be sweating on the train and then I'll walk into the office and then be sweating there. I just go like all curly and like frizzy and stuff. Whereas I think this is going to be perfect for the self-care drawer for the proper swishy max swish because like the absolute head me, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Fadunk.